1.0 introduced the iMiles TDS. The instrumentable multiple integrated laser engagement system iMiles simulates the effects of direct fire weapons and its effects on vehicles and soldiers during a force-on-force -force training exercise. iMiles supports realistic training without the expense and environmental impact of firing live ammunition. This job performance aid will demonstrate the preparation, installation, and operation of the Tactical Vehicle System, TVS. This terminal learning objective will contain the following enabling learning objectives. Define the purpose of the iMiles TVS. Identify the iMiles TVS characteristics. Identify the iMiles TVS capabilities. Identify the iMiles TVS theory of operation. Define the purpose of the iMiles TVS. The TVS is a laser-based training device that supports force-on-force -force training involving vehicles that do not have an embedded fire control system. The TVS supports weapon systems that are appended to, installed on, or associated with the vehicle. Identify the iMiles TVS characteristics. The iMiles TVS system consists of the Vehicle Kill Controller, VKC, the Vehicle Kill Mast, VKM, the Serial Module RF Interface, Smurfy, the Vehicle Detector Module, VDM, the Small Arms Transmitter, SAT, the Crew Control Module, CCM. Identify the iMiles TVS capabilities. The iMiles TVS laser-based training devices support vehicles that do not have an embedded fire control system. The training devices can be installed on 128 variances of vehicles and or buildings and structures. They are backwards compatible with legacy miles training devices. The training devices provide training realism by disabling the SAT's ability to fire after the system reports a kill status, indicate engagement results to the target and attacker using visual and audible cues, and store engagement data for retrieval and use in after-action reviews, AARs. Identify the iMiles TVS theory of operation. Once all components have been associated by the CCM, the TVS system is operational. When a near-miss, kill, or hit signal is received by a VDM, that signal is relayed directly to the VKC or indirectly via the Smurfy. The VKC decodes the received mile signal and wirelessly communicates the near-miss, kill, or hit to the VKM and CCM for visual indication. When the SAT fires, triggered by a flash and bang from the weapon, the VKC receives an activation signal which is stored in the event log. When a firepower kill or catastrophic kill is received by the VKC, the SAT is disabled. At any time, the CCM may request status information provided by the VKC.